What's up guys? Back again with a, another full length video. I've been making a lot of shorts recently just because they're quicker and easier for me to come up with and have time for. Um, I have time today to make a full length video. Today we're going to be shooting my Remington Sportsman Model 512 bolt action. 22 long rifle or 22 shorts, but I only shoot 22 long rifle. This was a gun that my grandfather was given to in a barter. It's only iron sights, which I am very fond of. Safety. I wanted to talk a little bit about bolt actions. Bolt actions in general, I find very fun to shoot. Everybody has an AR-15. Everybody has semi-automatic rifles. I mean, most people probably have bolt actions, but I take, uh, I, I'm more fond of bolt action, old fashioned rifles, shotguns, stuff like that, over like ARs and stuff, just because of how popular ARs are. Now that's not saying that ARs and that style rifle isn't cool and that I wouldn't own one. It's just that this kind of stuff right here, this old vintage stuff, classic is what I am very fond of. So let's go ahead and get her loaded. So right here, it's got the twist cap. I need to load the shells right in here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This will hold more than 10. I think it'll hold up to 12 or 15. A pretty fun gun to shoot. Like I said, it's bolt action. I do have the semi-automatic uh, 22 that everybody probably has. I mean, most people probably have this as well. 22 semi-automatics are fun to shoot. Don't get me wrong, but there's just something about a bolt action rifle, regardless of the caliber, that uh, is just very nostalgic. So let's go ahead and a few of these through. Safety's, gotta make sure safety's always on. Now I have recently gone through all of my uh, firearms, cleaned them, lubed everything, made sure everything was working properly. So this one uh, is ready to go. Now I do have a couple targets. I do have a couple targets set out there. There's a Gatorade bottle. Over there's the Dunkin' Donuts cup. I'm not gonna shoot those right now. I'm just kind of gonna put a, through round, a few rounds through, kind of warm it up essentially. That's it. 10 rounds through. Uh, one thing I did notice is that it's shooting high. So what I would need to do is bring this down. I don't know. It might've been too far. So I had to adjust that. Now this is pretty much essential on even BB guns. This right here is like ten, there's tension on this piece right here, which keeps pressure on your adjuster. So to adjust it, you, you pick it up and you can move this forward or back depending on what it's shooting. Safety on. Now. There we go. Perfect. 
butyrate bottle. Still shooting a little high. Or there are 12. If you're not familiar with the way these uh, these type rifles work, this is your rod that slides down in there past the ammo. This little end right here is spring loaded. So when you push it down, all those bullets go up inside of this rod. So as you can see, this is a 50 year old um, rifle. Not as smooth as a new one. Got it lubed up pretty well. Uh, I've had this since my grandfather passed away. Whoever the person was that he got it from, looks like they had the intentions of sanding it down and uh, either staining it or doing whatever. I'm thinking about because it's just a cheap rifle painting it camouflage and just making it a fun little shooter um, just because that's the kind of stuff I like so uh, we'll see I'll make a decision on that like I said this is the Remington 5 model 512 22 short 22 long rifle all around Great gun um, for the age. Every gun made back in the 60s, just timeless. Especially bolt actions. Bolt actions are as timeless as well as uh, lever actions. You can't beat them. They're relatively cheap, usually, depending on what it is. Uh, something like this is usually cheaper. Great beginner gun, great gun for your kid to shoot, whatever. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you haven't already, take care and have a great day.